How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just want to come on here for a while and give him a review for All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark Elevation from Monday, which was March 7th, 2022. I gotta say it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Lance Archer versus Cameron Stewart. That was a squash match, but the ending to it Lance Archer went over with the blackout. Now, before the match, Lance Archer signaled the referee to, to get out to the ring, and as the referee went out to the ring, Lance Archer grabbed a hold of Cameron Stewart and threw him out to the, on the stage and then clotheslined him into the ring before the match started, which that was cool. And after the match, Lance Archer, as he was celebrating his victory... Lance Archer executed a clothesline to Cameron Stewart and laid him out. That was cool. That, that, and that was match one, by the way. Match two, it was Ruby Soho versus Session Moth Martina. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Ruby Soho went over with the no future. Match, match, that was match two, by the way. Match three, it was Daniel Garcia versus Ray Jazz. That was, that, was, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Daniel, Gar Daniel Garcia went over with the sharpshooter. That was match three, by the way. Match four, it was Scorpio Sky versus Sean Dean. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Scorpio Sky went over with the TKO. That was match four, by the way. Match five, it was Chris Statlander versus Emmy Sakura. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Chris Statlander went over with the Big Bang Theory. And match six, which was the main event, it was Wheeler Yuta versus... Aaron Solo, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Wheeler Yuta went over with the seatbelt. That was, and that was match six and the main event, by the way. Now, there were no promos and segments throughout this episode of All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark Elevation, so besides the matches, Paul White and Mark Henry done commentary throughout the whole show, they done awesome as usual, and Ethan Page done guest commentary along with Paul White and Mark Henry throughout the match between Scorpio Sky versus Sean Dean. Ethan Page done great on guest commentary. Now, Tony Schiavone was not on commentary on this episode of All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark Elevation, so... Tony Schiavone probably had things going on before when Elevation was being taped, so, but that's okay. Hopefully he'll be back next week. And the referees for the event were Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg, Stephon Smith, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay, Mike Posey refereed the match between Lance Archer versus Cameron Stewart. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Ruby Soho versus Session Moth Martina. Paul Turner refereed the match between Daniel Garcia versus Ray Jazz. Rick Knox refereed the match between Scorpio Sky versus Sean Dean. Stephon Smith refereed the match between Chris Statlander versus Emmy Sakura. And Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Wheeler Yuta versus Aaron Solo. All the referees done awesome as usual. Now anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark Elevation from Monday night, which is which was 
March 7th, 2022. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honecker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace out.